The 18 inch aero wheels are the standard offering on the rear wheel drive and long range model three. The good news is those base wheels give you the best efficiency. 272 miles on the base model three and approximately 325 miles on the new long range model three. The bad news is they're kind of ugly, at least to me. So what happens to your efficiency if you decide to swap out those standard aero wheel caps with something, say, a little more sporty? Am I going to see an improvement or a degradation in the efficiency that I've been getting with the aero wheel caps with these new wheel covers that I'm about to put on? Now, as you can probably guess, I really dislike the look of the standard aero wheel caps. They're just kind of plain and they're not really sporty enough to me. Now, there are plenty of different wheel cover options that exist out there, and that applies if you have an 18-inch or 19-inch wheel, or a Model 3 or a Model Y. During my research, I stumbled across a video from Kim Java where she was reviewing an Uber Turbine-style wheel cover from a company called T-Sportline. Now, these wheel covers were exactly what I was looking for. They were more sporty, and actually they were one of the cheaper options that I found out there. I will leave a link in the description below to Kim's video as well as a link to T-Sportline so you can check out what these wheel covers look like. Three days after placing my order, I had the box waiting for me on my front porch ready to go. Everything you needed is included in the box and installation could not be easier. Simply apply the foam tape that was provided around the edge of the wheel cover and that'll protect your rim and apply the provided Tesla logo decal to the the center of the wheel cap. That's it. You're ready to install them. Pulling off the existing aero covers is really simple. Just grab a hold and pull from different angles and they'll pop right off. Now the biggest hassle I had was needing to clean my rims. Once I pulled off the aero caps, there was a ton of dirt on the rim. So I wanted to wash that off before I put on the new wheel covers. Once I dried the rims off, it was time for my upgrade. Align the new Uber turbine style wheel covers with the valve stem give it a good whack in the center to seat it, and then just pound it around the edge of the rim and it will fit right into place. It literally takes less than five minutes per wheel to put these covers on. Personally, I dig the look. To me, it's a huge improvement over the standard aero cover, and it gives the car a more sportier look. Now, these covers are going to provide your rims with some extra protection because they extend to cover the entire rim, unlike the standard aero caps and it also gives the illusion of a slightly bigger wheel. So what do you think? Aero covers or the new Uber Turbine style look? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. So what about efficiency? Am I seeing an improvement or less efficiency with these new wheel covers? Now I conducted two different tests to measure the efficiency. Now the first test was a 10 mile loop around the city where I live. Same speeds, same route, same day. I first did a drive with the aero wheel covers on, measured my efficiency, and then I did that same exact drive once I had the new Uber Turbine style covers on. With the aero covers, my efficiency was 191 watt hours per mile. The T-Sport line Uber Turbine style covers came in at 183 watt hours per mile. Now the second test was a little more involved. I have a pretty long commute to work, a 45 mile commute that involves mostly highway driving. Now I ran this test across multiple days using both the aero wheel covers and the T-Sport line covers on my way to and from work. I threw out the best and worst efficiency numbers that I saw during my test and I averaged the rest of the results. With the aero covers, my average efficiency was 195.5 watt hours per mile. The T-Sport line Uber turbine style covers came in at basically the same. It was 195.6 watt hours per mile. Now granted, there's a lot of other variables at play as part of this second test. Traffic conditions vary on a daily basis. Weather conditions are going to be different. So take my results with a grain of salt. Now I will add, I have not seen any huge improvement or degradation with my efficiency numbers as part of my daily commute. In the past, with my aero wheel covers on, my state of charge when I arrived at work was anywhere between 82 and 84% based on traffic. With the new T-Sport line Uber turbine covers on, I'm seeing about that same state of charge. So at the end of the day, I'm not seeing a huge improvement, 
nor am I seeing a degradation in the efficiency numbers. Now, I was planning on keeping my aero covers just in case I was taking any extended road trips if they were gonna give me some better efficiency numbers. But at the end of the day, based on the test results that I'm seeing, I'm just gonna keep the T-Sportline Uber Turbine style covers on. I'm not seeing a huge efficiency hit with the new covers, so there's no reason for me to change them out. Now, having said all that, I did not buy the new Uber Turbine style covers for efficiency. I bought them because of the look. And I think the new look is a huge improvement over the old aero wheel caps. The additional benefit is the new wheel covers are no worse than what I was seeing before. So I'll take that. Hope you all found some value in this and we'll see you guys in the next video.